Okay, um, Jason Furmanick is our next speaker. He's the Principal Engineer and Inferencing Lead at AMD. The title of his presentation is uh, Triton Use at AMD. Please, everyone, welcome Jason. <laughs> well, folks, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about Triton, uh, favorite topic of the day. I am from AMD. Um, you know, Triton, we talk a lot about uh, Triton supporting multiple hardware vendors, right? That's what is one of the one of the promises, and, and so we're some evidence of that. So, the, um, we'll hop into it here. So, so got to chart them kind of why though. Um, so we know why Red Hat likes it, you know, obviously, right? Because we, you know, Red Hat's big in open source. We're big in open source too, by the way. Um, we want open technology into people's hands. We think, you know, on a on a broader scale, more people can do do a lot of great things, right? So that, that's understandable. And it's understand why Red Hat likes it. So I understand why um, OpenAI likes it. They invented it. Um, you know, they wanted the power to write their own kernels uh, beyond what. NVIDIA was giving them. So they, we had CUDA, right? So you can write things in CUDA. Um, if, if you had the skills for that, it's pretty low level C++ API, right? Um, and, and all the libraries that are going with it, right? So you, you could be a really good CUDA writer, um, kernel writer in CUDA, you know all the skills are there, right? Um, and, uh, and that's great, but th those are people hard to find, uh, for one. And then two, um, you know, they also have a, a lot of a good library, a set of libraries from, from NVIDIA. So it's like, okay, well, well, we'll use theirs as well. But, but you know, what happens if you, you want to use uh, something but slightly different, right? Uh, and, and, and so, you know, that, that's part of the, the, the reason why Triton exists in the first place. OpenAI says, I, I need more control here. Um, so, but why, why does AMD like it? So we have, we have Rockham. Rockham is very similar to CUDA stack. Um, in fact, the whole the whole design point of Rockham is to be like a CUDA clone, right? So we, you could take your CUDA. We actually have a script called Hippify. You could take a CUDA program, hit a button, and it converts it over all to the HIP APIs, and and there you go, yay! So that's great. So we're fast follower on on the Rockham stack. Um, so we have all the same benefits that that CUDA that that NVIDIA does on, on CUDA. Um, yeah, here's some of the some of the libraries here, but um, but Nvidia doesn't necessarily like Triton. I mean, like we know is, any, is anybody from Nvidia here? <laughs> See, <laughs> I, they are I, I, could have been I know. Well, yeah, I suspected suspected there wouldn't be, um, but but you know, but it, there's really great support for Nvidia and, and Triton though. But but that's because OpenAI added it and, and other people added it, and Nvidia contributes. But but they they like their control, um, and they don't control Triton. So, um, and we have, we have control of our libraries as well. So, so, but, but we, you know, we, we do like the openness and we do have some of the, um, the same needs as some of the other community members. So, so it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. So, um, so, so, so why, why did we, why did we add support into Triton? And it was a lot of work, but you know, we, we've added it. Um, here's a list. Uh, so there, there's some of the stuff I was kind of getting to the freedom the freedom of it, right? So if you have um, you have your own custom things, look at the, the Mamba work we just saw, right? So the, the, you know that's a great example of okay, we wanted to do this. We have a couple couple specifics we wanted to write. Uh, we need to change it a lot. Um, we need the freedom to be able to do that. Um, it gives you a lot of power though too. So I mean, you could write this stuff in Python if you wanted to and run it on a CPU, and you, you're going to be you know old before the thing is trained. But but you could do it. But it gives you the power of, of the GP behind it, um, which is great. So, um, so the customization kind of talk through. Um, you can explore. You can say, you know, maybe this will be good. Maybe I can fuse this. Oh well, maybe not yet. And then you know, you can kind of do a lot of exploration. The research guys love that, right? So they they're always thinking about new algorithms and and things that can. Um, take over the world, right? So, but it's, it is familiar as well. Like it's a Pythonic library, but Triton has a very friendly-ish, if you kind of, you know, know the, the hardware a little bit, um, language is Pythonic. Uh, you just import Triton and away you go. Um, compatibility, right? So the kernels that are written for NVIDIA will just run on AMD or in any other hardware that's enabled for it. That's pretty great, right? Um, uh, faster time to market, there's demand, like our customers are, are needing this now. Like they come to us and say, okay, well, give us the Triton kernels for it. Um, 
and uh, the leadership. So Rockham, I said, is a fast follower. Um, you know, we can be leaders on this. We, we don't, we're not stuck in that software moat. We, we, can, we can get ahead, right? Uh, especially if it, NVIDIA is kind of have their own ideas. Um, we'll, we're going to run with the open. <coughs> um, so, and what, what allowed this to happen though, too, is we, had, we have a ton of compiler um, investments at AMD, we're a hardware company, right? So LLVM, MLIR, we're, we're, we've already been living there, right? So um, Triton was a, you know, just another team we need to focus on and we, you know, it's, it's, it was a um, collaborative and natural fit for us at AMD. Um, okay, so here's, here's a good example. Uh, and this actually happened, by the way. So, you know, a customer comes to us and, you know, this is a, a customization example. So they're saying, um, hey, I, you know, Silu, Silu is a fancy thing, right? Um, if, you're, if you're still using Gilu or Relu, you're, you're, you're not a cool kid. I want Silu in there. So, and our HitPlus LT library has some built-in activations in, in, in the gems, right? You know, Silu's not there, though, because it's too new and fancy and the cool kids use it. So um, I want it. Um, so we're like, okay, great. We'll add that HIPAA LT pronto. It's really easy. You just kind of a different thing you add in there. Um, so the HIPAA LT team says, we're done. It goes over to the test team. They test it. Okay, we're going to the release team, get into a, a rock and release, and um, a quick four months down the road, customer can get it. And then they were like, oh, wait, what do we want again? Well, this is way too long. Um, and so, like, or Triton could say, hey, uh, Customer, I want I want a gem with the Silu activation just fused on in there, and then they then they write it and they're done two minutes later. So that's a good example. And then so this is actually happened. So this, this is a fun one. Um, like the, the, you know that that encapsulates the the power and the customizations and and, and what you can do and, and freedom all in one kind of example there, right? Um, so uh, yeah, so where do you? AMD GPUs, what, what's going on with that? What, NVIDIA, yeah, you know, that's upstream in, in Triton, you just pulled down Triton. Um, how do I get that running with AMD GPUs? Well, it, it, you know, actually, just the same, same place. It's there upstream. You just pull down uh, Triton from GitHub, you build it, uh, auto text where you're running it, and, and it's all baked in and, and, and working. So um, no special enablement needed, where we've already done the work. It's all upstream um, and fully merged in. Um, it is kind of a lie because the, 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 we have a third party directory where, where our um, support is, but, but it, it, if you just build Triton, it, it, it pulls that in and, and, and it works. So um, the, that third party directory has, has all, all the AMD specific passes and all the AMD specific additions. And, and, and we, have that, we have our own compiler.py there, which defines the compiler passes that, that are in there. So um, highly customizable. Um, and uh, very useful. So, and it, we we totally control that directory. So we we've got merge access and everything into that directory. So, supports all of our AMD GPUs. Um, these include our big old data center ones um, and the consumer ones, or at least the most recent consumer ones. Um, we don't test or run on like laptop ones though. Um, Although those are, especially the newer ones, are kind of variants of, of what you see here. So as you may, if you tried that, let me know. I'm interested. But um, you know, we don't test on that. They have a lot, a lot of limited resources as well on those, so it may or may not work. Um, but you know, we do uh, uh, spelling error here on integrations. But we've got um, it's all integrated in, in the AMD supports integrated in, into everywhere you would use it. So um, do we have, uh, we have PyTorch people who, who's written a PyTorch script? Yeah, so we're at the PyTorch ATX, right? So some people, right? This, this guy's a Jax user here. We know that. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> which is good. But if you've used PyTorch, you probably have used Triton. Right? So you tra I, I have postdocs who use PyTorch. Okay, oh, there you go. All right, perfect. Well, but you, left, though, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> no, you can use Triton with Jax, too, by the way. If it, there's, they have the Palace interface, which, which is very uh, uh, Triton-like API in the front end. Except for you know, it's a little bit different. But then it, you know, it, it uses Triton on the back end to, to generate the code. So if you ever use Palace, then you've used Triton as well. Um, but we've seen it. The VL, we talk about a lot of VLM. Uh, SGLang is is another inference server. We've got the support there as well. Um, uh, Transformer Engine. We we've got Triton kernels there, um, and uh, OpenXLA, which is the back end of Jax and TensorFlow. Uh, also includes a version of Triton baked in that that can do gem fusions and and, and that it supports Palace too um, and that all works on AMD as well. 
Um, Triton has a, a cool uh, proton profiling feature that works, and we've got our address sanitizer that works as well, which is helpful if you're doing very complicated things that are you know pushing memory boundaries and, and, and whatnot. So uh, full feature. Uh, yeah, so we talked a lot about what, what Triton is, and, and you know, it's, I wanted to be specific. It's actually kind of two things. So it's the, there's a language, which you're actually gonna use, like the Pythonic language, you're, you're coding it, right? Um, and then there's the compiler, right? Uh, you know, I, I view it, Triton, as a compiler generally, but, but a lot of people have used it as you know, just the language. Um, you know, it, it kind of really is both, though. Um, and, and, you know, one feeds into the other. Um, the, the DSL is kind of very specific to GPUs, though. Um, we were talking about the, the SRAM earlier, but, but it, you know, the, our, our GPUs have shared memory as well, but they, you know, it gives you kind of direct control of that, of like how to use that, right? You, it's a limited resource, and so if you design a kernel that, has, that uses too much, you, it's not gonna compile, but, but you have the power to do that, right? To, do, to control every last bit in that shared memory, to fuse as much as you can until you run out, right? So. A um, lot of a lot of other kind of specific hardware for AI doesn't have shared memory. It has you know uh, DMA engines and, and, and whatnot. So, um, but but it's a kind of a core piece of DSL uh, of the Triton DSL. So it's you know th there's a limited aspect to its portability, although it, it fits really really well to GPUs. Um, we do have some you know we talk it's it's very portable, but I have some there's some specifics to the AMD version of it. So that you know, we talked about the auto tuning. Um, we have actually a couple of different parameters that we've enabled for ours that that um, that helps with auto tuning and get get some of the performance out of out of the AMD hardware. Some, you know, this kind of doubles up your your waves per uh, the SIMD and AMD hardware. We've got multiple SIMDs as we call them on on each of the chiplets on on the GPUs. So. Um, it's the parallelism is the name of the game with Triton. So that's um, that's a big piece of that in, in the auto tuner. Um, we also have 64 threads in our, our warps, uh, whereas um, NVIDIA is typically 32. Um, so, um, so another interesting example of, of how we're using it um, is our ADER library, which is pretty brand new. So, um, you know, we, we were seeing from the the, pat, the the last one where they 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 wrote a bunch of um, Triton kernels in, in, in three months. Um, Ader came together in about the same time frame, so um, you know we've got I've got a link here to it, but it's it's basically a set of highly optimal kernels for um, a lot of the famous LLMs that are out there right now, um, and so we have um, Triton versions of everything in there. We actually have um, CK, which is our cutlass like library, and assembly versions for for highly highly tuned uh, of some of the things in there as well, but but. Writing all the train versions and everything was would took you know less than three months, and we've got I've got a list of them here in the next slide. So it's um, and and so this kind of gives us that delivery model for for Triton kernels, right? So we talked about you know delivering stuff in VLM, which is great for inference, right? But but what if I'm not what if I'm not using a VLM or, or SG lane? What if I want to just like you know build my own thing, or or what if I'm doing training, um, and I just want to you know inject a highly optimal version of attention right in my code, you know, you can use our ADER for that and it'll, it'll just compile it on the fly. Um, whether, so it's kind of interesting about this. So Triton compiles on the fly, right? That's, it's, it's like that. Uh, ADER will actually compile on the fly all the uh, assembly and C++ code that's in there as well. So um, you can just inject Python and it actually will build assembly right on the fly just like Triton was, which makes it a really good fit for having Triton on one side and assembly on the other. Um, so here's kind of like a list of the um, stuff we've got in there now. It's, it's growing rapidly. A lot of these were prioritized by customer asks, and you know we've got some deep seek stuff, and here's all the deep seek stuff on the news, right? Um, taken over right by this like you know really really important model, at least model paradigm. Um, you know the, these uh, more advanced MOE models, um, but we have uh, all these in there, and we've got bench benchmarking code for each one of them. Um, so you can kind of see, you know, just on their own how they're performing versus maybe something you've written yourself or you got some from some other library or whatever. So, um, you know, it'll, and again, it'll use Triton, and then we've got the assembly ones for, for even faster speed on, on, on a lot of these as well. 
Uh, so yeah, we talked a lot about att like attention is like the like the, the most important operator in a lot of these LLMs lately. Um, and so we did a lot of focus on that in, in Ader and in, in, in Triton kernels in general. So we, we've, you know, we had a co, uh, a, a kind of a co-working environment with the, with the kernel writers and our Triton team and then the, the compiler developers, right? Because when you're, when you're wanting the, the fastest attention kernel out there and it's, it's super important, it's like, it, so to give you an example, it's maybe about 30% of your run of, of a lot of these, these big LLMs are, are just like chugging away at the tension operator. Um, and, and if you <coughs> multiply that by, I don't know, 30,000 GPUs in, in a big old data center, um, that costs millions and millions of dollars uh, a day to run. 30% um, of that is, is, is a fat chunk of change. So, so it's a super important, super, super important model or su operator. Um, so ours, we, we spend a lot of time on it. We, we have like all of the features in our, in our Triton model. And, and this kind of underlines the other cool thing with Triton. It's, it's easy to add these features. Um, it's harder to add them if you're coding at a lower level, right? But, it, but in Triton, you can just kind of do pipe, you can just do if statements in Python and you want to kind of avoid too many branches in there, but, but you can add, you know, if you, you know, if I wanted to do um, some bias stuff or some causal masking and in a scenario, I could just say, you know, or, or am I doing causal masking in this iteration or not? I mean, it's super simple, super easy. And so we, we have the full featured attention Triton um, kernels, uh, both in Ader and, and other places, um, VLM and SGLang as well, and, uh, incorporate some of these. Um, and so we took that, so we also have uh, tried out as a flash attention package. So a lot of people just use that, right? So the, it's a common integration point. So try to, uh, 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 pioneered this kind of idea. We were talking about this earlier, like he, you know, keeping as much as he possibly can in the shared memory and infusing in, in the softbacks with with the, the, the gems on there, right? It's um, uh, a, a great way to speed up your you know, data dependencies in, in this operator, right? Um, and so he has this package and it got integrated in all sorts of places. You could just do, you can import flash tension and, 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 and run with it. So. Um, but what was in there was like the, he wrote it in, in very specific to NVIDIA um, code, right? So, so you know, well, how do we do that? And so we had to build a relationship with Tradal um, and and work with them. We've got our our uh, CK versions in there, but we also have our Triton versions in there. And the Triton one is is full featured, uh, you know, and it's you know we could just enable it super. Uh, really easily, and, it, and it, you could just import it down, and it plugs in anywhere else that flash attention the package is being used. So, um, which is great because because everybody always asks for that, right? So, people aren't asking like for Ader. People aren't asking for a trait, and they're coming and saying, "I need flash attention because I heard that that was the fastest thing," uh, and now we can give that to them, which is pretty great. <laughs> okay, and I think that's none of my slides, but um, uh, you know, the I think it's just kind of important. To underline the, the 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 fact that Triton is a kind of important technology, um, but it, it's kind of not the, the the thing that's going to solve the universe, though, right? It is still kind of specific for its use cases, but it is miles better than having to write C plus plus code and, and locked into a, a certain software environment, um, and gives you the power and gives you the flexibility, right? So. Um, which is absolutely fantastic in, in this space when, when all of those things are hypercritical, especially when you've got billions of dollars on the line, right? So, um, yep, so the, which is why, you know, kind of to sum up, that's why AMD likes it, that's why we're investing in it, and, um, you know, we, we expect to have all our future hardware be more and more centered with, with Triton kernels, so. So that's what I got, is there any questions, you guys? Looks like a great effort. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I have no other questions. We'll we can move on to the Intel one. Thanks, guys.